How's it going, guys? This upcoming movie review was suggested by... I'm sorry, dude, I cannot pronounce your name, but it was suggested by this lovely person right here. Um, check him out, but, uh, he suggested a movie for me, and that movie is called Vile. Um, I did rent a Vile a while back. Um, I really didn't know much about it. I really wasn't expecting much, just... But the story sounded really interesting, so I went ahead and got it anyways. Vile really surprised me. This is actually a movie that it's... I mean, it's, you're going to see it at your local, like, blockbuster or whatever and look at it and say, this is just B-movie crap, but it's actually pretty surprising. Don't let the cover trick you. Vile is about a group of 20-somethings who are going on this road trip, and they stop at a gas station, and this hitch they pick up this hitchhiking woman, and um, what happens is, um, I guess she knocks him out with, like, gas or something like that, and they wake up in this room with a bunch of other people, and they all have these vials, like, on the back of their skulls. And, um, this woman tells them that, the same woman that, um, they hitch, the, they picked up, um, she tells them that, that on the back of their necks, they're called vials. And, um, they have to fill up these vials with a specific amount of brain fluid in order for them to, like, escape the room and, like, get out and go back home. So, um, what that basically means is that they have to torture each other kill each other, torture slash kill each other, in order to get out of that room, like, and back home. So, it's, basically, the movie is, like, they have to torture each other, they have to hurt each other, they have to, like, um, access this extreme amount of pain, amount of extreme pain, like, in order for them to, like, escape. So, it's actually very interesting and a very interesting concept. Um, it is... It's pretty much nothing but torture, but it's actually very good, and it's a very interesting story if you now think about it. Vile is pretty gruesome. It's a pretty graphic film, but again, it's also pretty smart, especially for a, a low-budget horror flick. Um, you know, again, the story sounds very interesting, and of course the acting's B-movie-ish, but um, I really enjoyed Vile from what I remember. I really, really liked it. Vile is a lot more than what you think if you see it at your local rental store. You might just look at it and say, I don't know about this one, but go ahead and grab it. It is definitely worth the watch, and overall, I'm going to give it 4 out of 5 stars. Yes, that is a bit of a high rating even for me, because this is, again, it's a low-budget movie, and it's a movie that you really don't, not a lot of people know, and it's just kind of like, I mean, you know, but it's, it's actually very good, very surprising, and I highly suggest all of you to check it out. If you're a fan of Hostel, Teristas, you know, that some sort, Saw, especially Saw. A lot of people are calling this a Saw ripoff. I can see that, but it's actually, it has a different story, but it is kind of a Saw ripoff. But um, it's more on the lines of Hostel, in my opinion, than Saw, but still check this movie out. It's pretty cool. Alright guys, that is it for this review. Please leave a comment down below on what movie I should review next, and I will see you guys later.